Now students see here, our next chapter is basic geometry. Basic geometry. So in this basic geometry, so what concept we are going to learn? See here, in this basic geometry, we are going to learn about point, line, line segment, ray and angles, types of angles, about all these things we are going to learn in this basic geometry. Okay. Before going to start basic geometry, first warm up time. So what is there here? What is given? See here, look at the cartoon and read the conversation. Here this is a cartoon given. Here 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 closed geometrical figures given. So what? 4 closed geometrical figures given. So what are those figures here? So this is a triangle. This is a triangle. This is a triangle and this is a square. Three triangles and one square is given. So two triangles so in one group and one triangle and one square in one group he has given. So triangle means three sides. One, two, three, one, two, three. That will come after. So what is a triangle? Basic triangle shape we know. So this is triangular shape and this is triangular shape. This is in triangular shape. This is in square shape. Here, so this cartoon what? So the cartoon saying here, oh mother, just because of the sum of his internal angles are greater than 180 does not make him a bad person. Here about internal angles he has discussed about, here this triangle discuss about internal angles, sum of internal angles. So what about internal angles and what about external angles? So that we are going to discuss afterwards here. So these triangles 1, 2, 3, these triangles in these three triangles sum of internal angles always 180 degrees. Okay. And this green and this yellow and this blue triangle they have internal angles sum of internal angles 180 degrees. And this is having four sides 1, 2, 3, 4, four sided closed geometrical figure. This is a square. So here internal angles. In this internal angles more than 180 degrees more than 180 degrees so these two makes one group and this this triangle makes he, this triangle join this square group so and after joining this square group what the triangle saying the greater than 180 here the internal angle internal angle is 180 degrees here internal angles greater than 180 in square in square sum of internal angles greater than 180 so because of that these triangles put him aside and these two triangles join in one group so that's why so this triangle is saying so this is having greater than 180 degrees internal angle it is not make him a bad boy so bad person so that is why i want to join him in his group what this green triangle saying so so on the basis of the angles means he want to he want to explain about internal angles, internal angles of a triangle and internal angles of a square. How some of the internal angles, some of the internal angles of a triangle as well as square, he is saying he want to explain you. So, so these triangles makes one group and triangle and square makes another group. Why this triangle makes join in this group? Because he is saying that because of more than 180 degrees does not make this square a bad person so that is why so this triangle joined his group okay so it means triangles have 180 degrees internal angles sum of internal angles 180 degrees and square sum of internal angles more than 180 degrees so so this thing you have to remember and afterwards one by one one by one so definitions so we are going to explain the concept geometrical concept in that that concept also so we are going to explain how the angles how angles we can express so how the angles we can show so using so geometrical diagrams and also using so alphabets how to explain so all these things we are going to learn in this geometrical concept geometry basic geometry we are going to discuss okay now students next concept see here so in learning time next concept point what is a point in geometry so what is mean by point 
So here the definition. First point definition. A point is a basic unit of geometry. Basic. It is a basic. At the very beginning, so we start from point in the geometry. So this is a basic unit in geometry. So after that, it is an undefined concept. Undefined concept. We cannot define what is a point. What is a undefined concept it is. What it is? Undefined concept. Then, a mathematical point has a fixed location. In maths, if any point, if I showed here is AP is a point, it means it is a fixed location. Fixed location. So, in India map, so and so here Hyderabad is there. So, there Hyderabad will locate with a point. With a point. Then what the point represent Hyderabad? That is a fixed, fixed location. In a mathematical, in a maths, the point represent a fixed position. Fixed position in a maths a mathematical point has a fixed location it is a fixed location and it cannot be moved it cannot be moved suppose hyderabad in a india map if you locate hyderabad with a point then it can be moved no it is a fixed position hyderabad so and so its place so there wherever it the point is there so that point represent hyderabad means that is a fixed location that is a fixed location okay the point represent fixed location in maths okay so once again see here what is a point a point is a basic unit of geometry this is a basic unit in geometry so geometry if we start geometry then so from where we start point after that line after that line segment after that ray so all this comes then first at the very beginning from where we start point point is a basic unit of a geometry the second it is an undefined concept undefined concept so then a mathematical point has a fixed location if anybody say what is defined point how can we define so point is a fixed location say in a maths so that is a definition means we can represent like a definition like that but actually so it is an undefined concept point is an undefined concept but in maths a mathematical point in a mathematical the point has a fixed location it has a fixed location it cannot be moved it cannot be moved i explained with example how the point represent in india map hyderabad if anybody say if anybody ask you where the hyderabad look at hyderabad so in social in social studies uh, so he gave locate Hyderabad so where where you locate so exact where the Hyderabad is there there you locate with a point so that is a fixed position fixed position so it cannot be moved it cannot be moved because Hyderabad location is fixed according to latitude longitude so and so that is there in your social studies no? so on the basis of latitude and longitude so and south north east west so we locate where is Hyderabad so that is a fixed position in google map also so and so locations were there so where the location shows the point is a fixed location it shows fixed location okay so in maths in maths the point it shows a fixed location now some more points about point so what is the point it is a mark of a position and has no ex exact location has an exact has an exact location just before we discuss it is the mark of a position so suppose p is there p so we mark with a point it is a mark it is a mark and also what has an exact location it is a mark and has a exact location so like this we mark and it shows exact location so this we discuss how it shows exact location see in a maths i explained by showing by giving example okay now second it has no length no breadth and no thickness point point has no length no breadth no thickness okay just point means a dot po what is a point point is a dot r so what is a point point is a dot so it has no length so that is why it it has no length no breadth and no thickness then it is denoted by a dot made by a tip of sharp pencil how to denote so using a tip of sharp pencil we denote a point like this tip of your sharp pencil so a dot how the dot represents how the dot we show by using a tip of sharp pencil so like this 
so this represent a point so that is why we say that it is is a exact definition is not there so why so if it is denoted by a dot it is denoted by a dot and made by the tip of a sharp pencil so made by the ship of uh, trip of uh, tip this is not trip tip tip of sharp pencil tip of sharp pencil then the fourth one it is denoted by capital letters points are denoted by capital letters here see point p is there point q is there point r is there so here three points we so located here three points three these three points we, we used by showing with the capital letters here we are using capital letters p is a capital letter q is capital letter and r is capital letter points are denoted with capital letters point r points are denoted with capital letters this thing you have to remember how the points represent using a capital letter using a capital letter whenever you want to represent a point so you should use capital letters capital letters only okay don't use small letters so next so in the given figure p q r represents different points here so in this figure so p q r points are there so these three points shows different different these three points shows different different points different different points so then so what are the properties of point first first one it is the mark of position and has an exact location exact location it is a mark of a position position where the position is where hyderabad locate where the position of hyderabad in india so it shows like that and exact location also and also the point shows exact location mark position and exact location these two thing point then second so it has no length no breadth and no thickness so point it's it has no length and no breadth and no thickness this the third third one it denoted with a dot how it denotes it denotes with a dot how it denotes it denotes with a dot so how the dot so made by a tip of sharp pencil so made by so how it means tip of sharp pencil or with a pen so whatever it is okay so it is a dot so point is a dot it is denoted by a dot just it is a dot how it made so tip of sharp pencil or with a tip of pen so it made okay then how the points represents so by using capital letters capital alphabets using capital alphabets we can represent point here three points are there p q r these three points we are represent with a capital letters capital p capital q and capital r here in the figure three different points are there so these three different points we are using three different capital letters using three different capital letters so we showed this point point p point q and point r this is the complete explanation about point all these points you have to remember what is a point what it represents and how we are representing points and what it shows and so what how to denote the uh, points so this all the things you have to remember okay point so about the concept of point okay now next see here line so what is the line here so first point we discuss what is a point and about point we learn we discuss and now so we are going to learn we are going to discuss about line so what is the line here see a line is a collection of points extended endlessly infinitely in both the directions both the directions here infinitely many points are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 infinite how many points are there in the line so infinite points are there on the line so infinite if we join infinite points then we form a line so this line extend both the directions both the directions here arrow is there left side arrow is there right side arrow is there arrow means it it and it extends endlessly on right side as well as on left side both the sides both the sides it extends on right side and left side where it ends infinitely it goes so where wherever it goes so here also on right side also arrow mark is there arrow mark means, means infinitely it moves so on right side on right side and left side they so the line the, this line moves okay so this is a line line what is the line a line 
is a collection of points collection of points how many points are there collection of infinite points how many points are there on this line so infinite points are there it means a line is a collection of infinite points infinite points so it is a line so a collection of infinite points so a line is a collection of points so endlessly endlessly means both the direction endless there is no end so if you ask if any end point is there no end point is there here in a line there is no end point it is endlessly endlessly moves both the direction right left or top or bottom whatever so it depends on the line so here on left side and right side it moves infinitely both the directions both the directions it is a line line definitions once again a line is a collection of points collection of points extend endlessly extended endlessly both the directions both the directions along a straight path along a straight path straight just like straight path there is no curve path only straight path so it moves endlessly both the directions along a straight path along a straight path so this is the definition of a line and what are the properties and what are so the things that they are in line so first it is a straight path first of all the straight line line means it is a straight path it is a straight path which can be extend infinitely both the directions which can be so extend infinitely both the direction first line is a straight path line is a straight path and second it extends infinitely both the directions then second it is shown by two arrows two arrow heads in opposite direction two arrows here one arrow here one arrow arrow heads so this line we show with a two arrow heads in opposite direction one is this direction other one is other direction the both arrow heads we show we keep opposite directions okay next it does not have any fixed length it does not have a fixed length why it is it does not have a fixed length because this line extend infinitely on both the directions infinitely on both the directions so that is why it does not have a fixed point if anybody says line line is having two centimeter line it is not correct so two centimeter three centimeter two meters two kilometers ten kilometers the fixed length so the line it does not have any fixed length any fixed length why it is not having any fixed length because it extend infinitely in both the directions so that is why the line is not having a fixed length next it does it it denoted as ab like a line line symbol we have to use like this line ab ab so line symbol we have to draw like this or ba like this we have to represent ab here ab a and b a b line segment a b line that is not line segment a b line how to represent a b line so like this so a b line or b a line whatever it is correct a b line or b a line so we represent a b or b a line it is denoted as it is read it and is read as a b or or a b line or b a b line a b or a b line or b a line or b a line a b line or b a line okay line a b line a b or b a line or line b a line a b or line b a okay so how to read so line a b or line b a how to read this one a b line or line a b b a line r so b a line r line b a so it how to read this one a b line r line a b b a line r b a line r line b a that is your wish so that is how to read this one again a b line r line a b next b a line r line b a so that is your wish how to read that is your wish so this is the representation of a line ab so here a and b is there so that is why this is the representation it can never be measured why it can never be measured just before we explain why it can be it can never be measured because it extend both the directions it extends both the directions so it does not have a fixed 
fixed measure means fixed length it does not have a fixed length so why because this extend infinitely both the directions so that is why it is not having any fixed length so it cannot be measured so that is why it cannot be measured infinite number of points lies on the line that we know how many points are there on the line infinite points are there on the line infinite infinite points are there on the line uncountable points are there on the line next sometimes it is also denoted by small letters of a english alphabet sometimes we can use small letters small letters to represent this line suppose this is a line then how to represent this is small alphabet a line we can represent a line like this if small alphabet is there then you have to take a single alphabet and represent the line using a capital alphabets you have to take two capital letters and represent a line okay so when you want to use a small letters only one small letter is enough to represent a line so when so p line it's like p small p if suppose if you want to use capital letters you have to use two capital letters two capital letters and to represent like this so so this is the representation of a line using capital letter this is the representation of a line using small letter using small letter here one more time here so what is the line so line is a collection of collection of points so why collection of points infinite points are there on the line so how many points are there infinite points are there on the line collection of points extended so points extended extended in both the direction endlessly endlessly means in both the direction it extends both the direction left and right both the directions so both the directions along a straight path along a straight path so it moves in a straight path only so not a curve path it moves in straight path okay so that so that is why here how many how many points are there on the line so infinite points are there infinite points are there and how the line so it extend endlessly both the directions both the directions and how it moves in a straight path in a straight path the three things so infinite points on the line so and it extend both the directions and also it moves in a straight path in a straight path next properties it is a straight path so it is a straight line straight path so this straight line is a, is a line a line is a straight path which can extend infinitely both the directions so already in the definition it is there we explained the second it shows two arrows two arrow heads two arrow head so how to show this line by using two arrows in opposite direction one arrow is on right side another arrow head is on left side by showing two arrow heads we show the line and how to how so it does not have any fixed length it does not have a fixed length why it does not have a fixed length that we know so it extend both the direction infinitely so that is why it does not have any fixed length so there is no measure there, there is no measure how the length is how much length it is 2 cm 2 km 10 m 100 m we don't have a particular length why do you, we don't have a particular length so it extend in both the directions so that is why it does not have a fixed measure so that is why we cannot say that what is the length of the line so it is denoted so how it denotes using the capital letters like this using small letter like this representation then how to read this one a b a b line or line a b b a line or line b a okay it can never be measured so that is there infinite number of points are there so that we know so infinite points are there on the line so then sometimes it also denoted with a small letters small letter if you want to use a small letter only one small letter is enough to represent the line okay so sometimes we use small letters also and most of the times we used capital letters when you when you are using capital letters then this is the representation to represent a line so this is complete concept about line what is a line and how many points are there on the line and how it extends and in a straight path or in a curve path and what are the measure of a line so either possibility is there for measuring the line so all this thing all these things there so so this is the complete concept of your line okay before we discuss point concept now this is line concept okay